Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. This vlog is kind of a little bit out of order because basically when I, I don't really know like how much I'm filming sometimes. Sometimes I think I've filmed an entire vlog and then it's like 10 minutes of footage. And then sometimes I'm like, man, I got to keep going. And it's been like 40 minutes. So that's kind of what happened with the last vlog. So I'm going to take you back to two days ago, show you a couple things, and then we'll cut back to the present. Hello, it is the next day. I just got out of the shower. I am fresh faced. And here is what my eyebrows are looking like on day six I believe it is they have been itching like crazy we've talked about it it's just part of the healing process it's fine but they're itching like a lot less now and I'm just getting ready to film I have a main channel video to film that has a sponsor in it so that's fun and I'm gonna do one half or I guess two-thirds of my face with makeup I still can't wear makeup on my face for like another week <sighs> I will say it's like okay Here's the thing, normally I probably wouldn't wear makeup. I said this in like a recent vlog, but number one, I have a job that requires me to be on camera. So that's kind of necessary. And number two, I have rosacea and I've just really been in a bad place with my skin lately. And I just kind of wanted to talk about it because I don't see a lot of people on the internet that have rosacea like me. And so I just kind of wanted to show what my skin actually looks like so you can see that, you know, not everyone you follow online has this like gorgeous glass-like skin. A lot of times when someone's skin looks really incredible, it's like probably mostly genetic or like they get laser treatments or they use really expensive skincare or whatever. But lately, my rosacea has just been flaring up really bad. It's been spreading all over my face as well. And I don't know if this is like correlated, but when I started getting facials, I noticed it getting like way worse. And like the more skincare and like skin brightening and like rosacea fading stuff that I put on my skin it seemed to irritate it even more so I literally have this drawer of like the most expensive skincare like literally I have spent hundreds of dollars on this stuff that like I think just made my skin worse it's really frustrating but anyways this is what my skin is looking like so the type of rosacea that I have I thought it was acne scarring at first and then it started spreading over to this side of my face it's all over my nose it's all over my forehead and it's all over my chin it's basically spreading to my entire face and i know that it's like a very human thing <laughs> and i know that it's genetic my mom has it she doesn't have it this bad of course <sighs> but it's just part of having skin and i'm you know completely okay with that i'm aware of that it's just frustrating it's frustrating when you feel like everybody else has like perfect skin and yours is always like bad and i struggled really really bad Badly with acne when I was like in my kind of like early 20s um that was that was horrible and so I just feel like I've always had bad skin and I've always kind of been insecure without makeup that's been like a thing that I've really struggled with honestly since probably like middle school or high school and I don't know I just wanted to talk about it because I think it's normal to feel that insecurity and I just I just have a hard time with it um I love myself but there are just things that you know that really bother me. So I have been kind of down in the dumps this week, not being able to do like my usual routine. I haven't been able to like fully wash my face or my hair. I have to use like the little hose thing and like cover my brows. Yeah, I've just been noticing that without hiding under my makeup, I've been feeling it a type of way and it's just been bringing a lot of feelings about my skin to the surface. I just feel really insecure about it. And it shouldn't be that way, it really shouldn't. Um, but I just thought that hopefully by me like opening up about it that somebody else will feel less alone or feel less ashamed to like go out in public. Today I did and I felt great. So I think it's just like taking those baby steps. And also um, I've completely changed my skincare. I literally have gotten rid, well, I still have all of it, but I haven't, been using any of the expensive stuff and this is all I am using currently. I saw this on TikTok. I saw like a dermatologist recommend it. It's this cleanser and this moisturizer and that's literally it. And then like a sunscreen, obviously. The sunscreen that I use currently, I believe is a Korean sunscreen. It was recommended again, I think on TikTok or like Instagram or something. And it's called Madagascar Centella. And this is the one that I use. It comes in a two pack. Drew has the other one in his bathroom. And that's literally all I've been putting on my face because <sighs> everything irritates my face. And I mean everything. All that to say, I am gonna be getting ready and putting on my makeup on this half of my face, which like you can still see in between my eyebrows that I don't have makeup on because it's just so pink and spotty, but there's 
not much I can do about that, you know? <laughs> We're just gonna go for it. This video does have a deadline, so there's not much I can do there. And we're just gonna, you know, that's life. We're gonna roll with the punches. So I'm going to be putting makeup on one half of my face and then filming this video. And then I have a bunch of editing stuff to do. And then at 3.30, I believe, I actually have another consultation to look into getting extensions. I'm just trying to be smart about it because the first place I went to was great. Like the girl seems really, really nice, but those were for K-tip extensions. And I thought, that those were going to be much better than tapes but after doing some research it's kind of like the same thing and it's still kind of damaging to your hair and you have to get new hair every time like you can't reuse the extension so anyway i saw a few of you recommending um like hand tied extensions and i've seen quite a few people like now that it's on my radar it's like you know when you think about something then you start seeing it everywhere i've been seeing a few people getting these hand tied extensions and they look really cute so i I think that might be the best option for me. If you have experience with hand tied extensions, let me know in the comments below. But um, out here in LA, there's this hairstylist named Casey Welch. I've seen a few influencers go to her and she has like a certified method of like hand tied extensions. So actually a few of you recommended that and I looked into it and so I'm gonna go get a consultation done with one of the girlies today. So we'll see how that ends up going. Also, just quick update while we're really, <laughs> while we're really going there, my eye, this is what my eye is looking like. It's definitely like really, really fading now. But just for those of you who were concerned, I have made an appointment with the eye doctor. It's just that they can't get me in until like three weeks from now. So I'm hoping that it clears up on its own in the meantime, but regardless, I have an eye appointment. So no worries. Anyway, I actually feel a lot better after getting that off my chest. I am trying so hard not to get any of this anywhere near my brows. If it looks like I am, I promise I'm not. <laughs> I would not waste that money. Anyway, I feel better after chatting and just opening up about it. I always do. And thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. There are much bigger problems in the world than my skin, but it's just, it's just one of those things, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna finish doing my makeup to the best of my ability and then we're gonna film this video. All right, got myself ready. <laughs> this is me hiding the top of my face as best as I possibly can. This hat's kind of a vibe, but it's also kind of funny. It feels so nice to have my space clear of everything. Drew and I went this morning right when the post office opened and dropped off all of the Poshmark orders. And the lady who was working at the post office said like something to the person in front of us, like why did they have to come here? Why couldn't they go somewhere else? Like meeting me and Drew with like the 24 packages. I was like, I'm so sorry. Anyways, um, got that done, got the clothes sorted and it feels good to just have my space clear and fresh. I do need to do like an actual closet clean out. Like those were kind of our extra, extra, what's the word I'm looking for? Extra closets. But I need to do like an actual, you know, switching out for spring and summer clothes, you know, hopefully soon, but it is still, we have some chilly days ahead in LA. So we'll see. All right, let's film this video. I'm just sitting on the floor because sometimes you just feel like sitting on the floor and this chair is very squeaky. So that bothers me. I have a lot to do today. So let's start getting it done. This tripod cannot hold on to my camera to save its life. Like, you have one job. Oh. <laughs> Livid. All right, it's a little while later. I am finally getting around to trying out this passion fruit lemonade that I talked about getting because I got some lemons and some passion fruit from the farmer's market, so I thought, to try it out together. I unfortunately do not have a lemon squeezer. It is something that I feel like I need in my life. I also don't really know about these passion fruits. Well, maybe we should cut those open first because if not, then we're just making homemade lemonade and I'm fine with that too. But yeah, we'll have to cut up these lemons into like smaller pieces and then just use my lime squeezer. Oh, <gasps> wow. Oh my God, it smells divine. I'm so excited. I had heard that like if a passion fruit looks like it's bad from the outside, then it's probably good on the inside. I think that's good. I mean, it's literally just goop. Passion fruit is one of my favorite flavors ever. Hold on, I need to get a spoon to scrape that out. I've also got some simple syrup going behind me. Equal parts sugar and water, just waiting for the sugar to dissolve. So, all right, let me like scrape this in here. Oh my God, it looks so good. I hope it's okay. Hmm. 
not the greatest texture of all time, is it? But that's all right. Do I do both? Yeah. I'm gonna do both. Oh! Are they so good? This one isn't as bountiful, but it's still there. Yeah, it's got lots of juice. Too. I would probably know if it was bad, I would assume. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that's better. So we do have the, you know, kind of unfortunate looking goo at the bottom, but that's okay. I guess I kind of strained it now that I think about it. So now we're gonna squeeze up all these lemons and then, oh my God, it went everywhere. And we will dump in our simple syrup. And that's pretty much it. This recipe calls for three lemons, three passion fruits with a cup of sugar. I only had like a quarter cup of sugar left. So I'm just gonna use like this one lemon to start and then we'll see how we feel. If you hear Drew in here, he's just making lunch. He went. Thing is you can always add more lemons, but I can't add more sugar because I don't have any more. I just wanna taste this. I'm gonna let this cool a little bit. Be careful with gloves. Yeah. Have you seen people on TikTok do that? They're like, what was I thinking? I refuse to be a statistic. All right, it's been a couple of minutes. I'm gonna pour in my simple syrup. Ooh! Wowee! Way too sweet. We'll do these other two lemons. Water You want a bigger one? pretty damn good. I feel like I'm just perfecting. So I did two passion fruits, quarter cup of sugar, which I think was a little too much. I did about a cup of water and this will be the third lemon. Drew's getting me a bigger cup. Then we gotta add our ice. Obviously we have to have tons of ice for a lemonade. This looks so good. I see you eyeing it. I wanna try it, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. I don't really like passion fruit. I mean, this would be an iconic cocktail, I will say. But also, as a lemonade, it looks pretty good too. Oh my God, that looks pretty good. All right, Drink cheers. It's like boba. Wow. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it. Drew's not a passion fruit fan, but he's gonna try it. It's, Thoughts? It's sweet, it's tart, it's good. What do you give it out of 10? Like an eight. Delicious. All right, that's the air fryer going with my lunch. So I'll show you when it's all done, but I'm, I'm pleased with myself. Look at that. Look at my cute little lunch. We got my homemade farmer's market passion fruit lemonade. Got a salad. Well, this is like leftover with some air fried cauliflower chicken and my cute little tulips from Trader Joe's. Yay. All right, it's much later now. I have my bug sunglasses on. I have taken the lower half of makeup off of my face and we're at the salon to get this consultation for extensions. So we will see what ends up happening. My appointment's in like four minutes, so I do need to walk inside and um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if this is a, a better method for me or if it's just gonna be a thing where I just have to wait for my hair to grow. You know, I'm getting impatient, but it is growing. So we'll see. Anyway, let's go do it. All right, I'm home, I'm in my pajamas, and um, that was interesting. I do really like the girl that I saw. I just don't know, it's expensive. Like that is such a commitment. And I did notice today, like my hair is growing. I'm just getting so impatient, but who knows? It would just be for funsies. We'll see what ends up happening, but likely, probably not gonna happen. So anyway, now there's a helicopter going. I just started some laundry. There's lots of noise happening at the moment, but it is Wednesday morning. It's just before 10 a.m. I'm going to get my nails done. I do love my red nails, but I have been so inspired by so many cute spring nails. So I think I'm gonna like try something fun or I might just do like a cobalt blue. I haven't decided yet. If I don't do cobalt blue this time, I'll probably do it next time. I've just been really inspired by all these cute spring pastels and like chromes and stuff like that. So maybe we'll try that. And then I'm going to meet up with my friend at her place afterwards. She just moved recently and I haven't gotten to see her place yet. So I'm gonna go over to her place. She's one of my friends from high school in Tennessee. She lives here in LA and has for a long time. And it's just so nice to have my hometown friends here. I know I always say that, but it's just like, it's such a piece of home. So I'm happy about that. That is kind of what's on the agenda for today. And then I have to come home. I just basically edited an entire vlog this morning, starting at like 7.30. And then as soon as I get back, 
back I will continue editing. I will also show you my new desk setup as like a little sneak peek for a main channel video. I did get a walking pad as well as a standing desk and I used it for the first time yesterday. Obviously I'll do the full update in the main channel video, but yeah, that's what's going on. So I'm gonna get my ass up, get in the car. This is what I am wearing today, extremely casual. I have my Free People London hat on. I have this cute little necklace that I actually got as a gift from my friend Maddie a couple of years ago, and it's just perfect for this. Got some cute gold hoops. I think this is a Hollister sweatshirt, some airy, I believe, sweatpants, cause that's the kind of day I'm having. I just wanna wear sweatpants. It's day one of my period, so you know how that goes. And then we've got some red, what are these called? Gazelles, red gazelle platforms. And that is the look. So let's go get these nails done and not match my outfit anymore. Good morning, it is a few days later. It's now Sunday morning. It is so dark in this room, I'm so sorry. It's Sunday morning, we're about to head off on our little Sunday morning outing, our adventure. We're gonna get some coffee. I think we might actually run by an estate sale. It's the last day though, so it's probably gonna be pretty picked through, but we're gonna see. And I don't remember where I left off last on this vlog. I think it was when I got lunch with my friend, got my nails done. Oh, here is what they're looking like, by the way, in better lighting. They actually turned out so cute. I used an inspo pick for from Alex Sintomo on Instagram and I literally just showed them the picture and this is what they did. So it's like an ombre, sort of like French tip with pastels and then white chrome over the top, I believe. So yeah, super cute, love it. It feels, I don't know why, it looks like British candy to me. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so we're doing some laundry. We need to clean our place today because our friends are coming over tonight for the Tokyo Vice finale. We're gonna get like a Japanese curry, watch the finale, it's gonna be good. I did just get dressed and I am wearing like an actual outfit instead of just leggings and a sweatshirt like I have for the last 10 vlogs. So I'll show you what I got on. I stole this sweater out of Drew's closet. It is from ASOS, but we kind of share it. And then I have my L necklace on today for Layla because I just felt like it. I have my thrifted Queen Elizabeth II hat. I love the parent trap. I have these actual pajama pants from Gap. They're like a little, you can't tell, but they're like a gingham print, like a tiny little gingham print, and my black sambas. I probably could have steamed these pants, but I do feel like the sort of crinkle gauze thing is like the look that it's supposed to be. Like it's supposed to kind of look messy. Anyway, got my sunglasses. We're gonna stop at our favorite coffee shop, grab a coffee, head up to this estate sale, and then see what else we get up to. All right, we just pulled up to this estate sale. It's up in the hills, in Beverly Hills, so you know it's gonna be good. And we're parked on like the main road, but that's where they told us to park. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see if it's a, if it's a good one, it may end up being a main channel video, but we'll probably just browse for a few minutes. from the estate sale, it actually went really well. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. And I think we spent $70, $75, $74. Dollars. We so him. about, we yeah. Tip. We, <laughs> we tipped him. But here's the few little things we got. It was really, really cool. These people seemed like rad people. They were like archeologists, artists, right. They had so much cool stuff, so. Work for UCLA. Yeah, I think so. And it, it just seemed like they lived really amazing lives, so that's one of the cool parts about going to estate sales. So the first thing we got is this really cute cardigan that Drew and I are gonna share, and it has owls, robins, squirrels, and maybe like a mouse, oh, and a hedgehog. This is so cute, it's a wool sweater. It says made in Great Britain, pure new wool. So that'll be nice for like winter time and stuff. We also saw, this couch pillow. How cool is this? This freaking like checker print. I think it has clovers or maybe these are lily pads and then like a flower bouquet. I just love the, the checker print. So that was cool. There were like three of them, but we just got one. We got this cute little sugar holder cause it's like a little thatched cottage. 
it's her dream. So it was originally eight dollars. We got it for four dollars. Oh yeah, and it's made in Japan, which is extra cool. So we're gonna put our sugar in here. We have to get a little. It has like a little divot for the spoon, but they didn't have it, so we'll just have to get one of those. Um, Drew got some acrylic paints, soft body acrylics, with just some like basic colors, so that'll be cool. He paints, so he'll use those. Drew also got a little bunny. It's a piggy bank, and it's really cute. It. And yeah, there's definitely something in it, but it, it sounds like just like a paper clip <laughs> or something. <laughs> it's just a paper clip. They had a, an extensive collection of like vintage pipes, and so he's gonna hang this one up in his office, so it looks cool. It's um. It says Regent Street. I don't know what that means. It's a really cool looking thing that he's just gonna hang on the wall. And then finally, don't know why we got this, but it just looked really cool. And it's a Welsh dragon. This is like a handmade in Wales Welsh teacup, tea mug. So we're gonna use this for our tea. So shout out to the, the Welsh dragons out there. We will go visit soon. So anyway, that's everything we got for what, $74 at an estate sale. Oh, he's opening the bunny. Oh, it's not a paper clip. It's a rubber band. And it's petrified. A, a petrified rubber band. Lovely. Dang it. I thought there were going to be millions in there. <laughs> Great way to start the morning though. Okay, it's a little while later. We just went and walked and got lunch. We've been cleaning, doing laundry, things like that. And I'm actually gonna edit the rest of this vlog coming up pretty soon. And I'm gonna do my cute little walking pad setup. And I haven't shown that yet in a vlog. And I think I said in the last vlog I was gonna show it. I'm just gonna show you like the basics. I'll link them down below, of course. But I'm gonna do like a full main channel in-depth review. So I don't really wanna like spoil that. But in the meantime, I'll show you what it looks like. It's underneath our couch at the moment that's kind of has been my whole like hold up with getting one of these is like where am i going to store it it's actually relatively easy to get in and out it has wheels so here i'll show you don't judge if you see any dog hair or dust okay so here she is Yay. it's not too heavy to wheel around at all i mean it's not super light but it's fine and then i just wheel her on over there she goes. And then here is what the setup is currently looking like. So I believe I have number three programmed. I'm pretty sure. Look at her go. We're not going to talk about the cords, okay? We're actually not going to talk about that. we got to figure that out later. So yeah, this is my little setup. I'm going to get some steps in. I'm going to finish editing this vlog at my cute little setup. Like, look how cute that is. I'm so obsessed. We are going to prepare for our friends to get here tonight. I think I mentioned it, but the Tokyo Vice season finale is tonight. So if I end up getting any clips of that, I'll include it. Or maybe in the next vlog. So they're going to come over. That'll be really fun. And I have been so into this season. I'm really sad that it's going to end. We also started The Gentleman, I think it's called, on Netflix, Netflix last night. It's a Guy Ritchie show. And honestly, really like it so far. I've only watched the first episode. But definitely looking forward to watching more. I think I'm going to open this window until, like, you know, the inevitable noise happens and I'll have to close it. But wow, what a beautiful day. So let's get some steps in and do some editing. Oh, I forgot to plug it in. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, we're making some good headway on the editing and I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I think you've heard me gabbing enough. So if I end up getting any clips from tonight, I will insert them, but otherwise, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for watching this vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye.